Welcome to Essentials Explained. In this video, we'll be discussing the key principles you need to keep in mind whenever you're checking your output. We'll discuss the core questions you should ask yourself anytime you complete an analysis. Let's dive right in. So let's talk about checking your output. And before we dive into the Excel, let's talk about some high level pointers on how to do this effectively. So number one, take a break. This is gonna be very, very important as you think about your answer holistically and how it relates to the question you're trying to solve. As you work through an analysis, it's very, very common to become so deep in the individual calculations and analysis you're trying to complete that it's really hard to see the proverbial forest through the trees and hard to think about whether your answer is reasonable, whether it makes sense, and whether it's aligned with the hypothesis that you were trying to solve for. If you just take a quick five minute break, walk away from your computer and come back, you're gonna have a refreshed viewpoint and refreshed perspective that will enable you to check your file much, much more effectively. So the two questions you wanna ask whenever you're checking a file are, number one, is the answer reasonable? Does it make common sense? And then is the answer aligned with your hypothesis? So is this the answer that you expected when you started this analysis? So when we talk about is an answer reasonable, what we're trying to understand is, does it make common sense? Is it aligned with reasonable business situations that you see in the real world? So let's talk about our data file as there's definitely some things in here that probably aren't reasonable and probably don't make common sense that I'll call myself out for as I made this data. So number one, look at the size of our franchisees. We pulled this together on our small franchisees and we have all of our small franchisees, or not all of them, but, but many of them have less than $10,000 a year in revenue. That's obviously far too small a size for a small franchisee and doesn't make common sense. So if you were doing this analysis and you saw something like this, that's a red flag that maybe you need to check something in your analysis or go through a different process to make sure your numbers are calculated correctly. The second thing to note here, which, which is probably a little bit more advanced, is looking at the margin. This margin's too high. Like You're never gonna see a distributor with a margin of 60% plus. <laughs> that, that just isn't gonna happen unless it's incredibly specialized or super high, highly value additive. But understanding different business archetypes and the margin profiles of different businesses will also be helpful in understanding whether or not your analysis makes sense from a profitability perspective. Number two, is this answer aligned with your hypothesis? So whenever you take a specific analysis and you're working with your manager, you're gonna have a specific goal you're trying to achieve or a specific answer you expect to find when you complete the analysis. This is, and pardon the jargon, but the hypothesis-driven approach to avoid boiling the ocean and really pursue an 80-20 strategy for solving something in a streamlined, efficient way. What all that really means, without all the joking aside, is you wanna know what you're trying to solve for to prevent yourself from just doing analysis to do analysis. And every time you do a specific piece of analysis, you should know what you're trying to get to and what the answer is you expect to find. If you show up with an answer that is different from your expectation, that's fine, but you should understand why that is and have a reasonable explanation for how your answer may differ from your original expectations. This will be pretty critical as your manager will frequently have what their expectations are in their mind. And when you show up with something different, it can often lead to a confusion and can lead to iterations that are often not necessary if you're able to effectively communicate and explain why your answer may differ from your hypothesis. If you're interested in tactical tips for setting up your Excel file, please check out the next video in our series. Otherwise, thank you for joining us at Essentials Explained, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.